All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to take this object that's been unwrapped and bring it into what I call a coloring book mode um, into Photoshop like we did in the old school days. It's still useful and there's still some times it really makes it easy for you to use. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to put a UVW wrap on it. It's already been unwrapped, but we're going to jump in here, go to UV edit, we're going to see this. To be able to get this out of here, uh, there's a whole story about how we used to do this, but for now, I'm just going to go up to tools and I go to render UVW template, turn off my edge seam so I don't have the green outline, and say, uh, we'll just do 1024 is fine. And then I'm gonna come over here and it actually put it on my other screen. So this is what I end up getting for a 1024 render. That's perfect, I don't need it much bigger than that. It's just a place for me to know where to draw. I'm gonna overwrite this sword UVW um, TGA. We're gonna make sure it's 32 bit so we get an alpha from it. When we export it out, Max is gonna put the alpha in the background here. So we'll say okay. And that's it. Then we come over to Photoshop and we are going to close this one because I already did it once. And I'm gonna say open. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna to come to the sword TGA, open it, just like that. And in here, I'm gonna to go to my alpha channel, which is over here where it says alpha. And that's in channels, alpha. And it's right there. If I hold control while I select the alpha picture, the little uh, small picture of it, it will make a selection around all the white areas. So then I'll go back to the layers and I will say control C for copy and control V for paste. And what it's done is it's made a copy of that background of the white area of the background. So I'm going to say plus to add a new layer. We we'll call this black. Like that. I'm going to go G to open up my uh, fill tool, and then I'm going to do a fill with black over here, like that. And then I'm going to take a look, and that's because this is just the alpha. This down here is the original, so I can turn that off, put on my black, and then that is there. Now I'm going to say, um, if I want to put something on here, it makes it really easy for me to do. So if I want to make this have ruins, for example, what I would do is go to the internet, and I'll be right back with the image I find from there. Okay, so I found this on the internet, some pictures, I just cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, you do want a black and white image for this case for using it in substance like we talked about. But I'm gonna take this in say control A, control um, C, and then I'm gonna come over to here and let's say control B. Paste it in, paste actually, looks like I did the wrong one. Control A, control C, and then control B. Move this up here. Actually, I want this below my UVW layer. You probably want to name this UVW. And check. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to take this and, and uh, come back to this. Let's say take this. And we'll just scale it down. Something like this. Figure out where we want it and which one we want to use. And basically. That's right. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to go L this. Paste. Come back to here, move this over here. I'm just pushing um, M for marquee or L for lasso and taking this up to here. Like that. I'm going to say X and control shift V because that makes it paste into place. And then I'll take this. Oops. I'm going to keep that there. Take this, move it over here. Maybe what I'll do is I'll take this one, L again. Lasso, and say control or X, and then shift P, and then control T, which will make me be able to, to uh, transform it and move it where I want it. I'm gonna move this one here, like that. Let's say enter to in that mode, and then I'm gonna take L again, and take this one. So X, and control, oops, make sure I'm in the layer, say B, Deselect, grab the right layer, L. I wasn't on the right layer, so when I was trying to move stuff, there was nothing there to move. So I'll say X, Control Shift B, Control T, rotate it around here, move it up into here, and say Enter. And I'm gonna go back to B to make sure I'm on the selection tool. Select that layer, this one, just make sure it's centered a little bit more, maybe. Uh, 
this one. And we'll move it there. And be swept. Okay. So now, if I take this UV off, and I can take this, and what I'll do is I'll take this and delete it. There's a little weirdness there. Deselect, much control, shift, alt, save, which saves your web. Room, save, in place. And there we go. If I come back to Substance Painter, and I open up that texture wherever it is, like this, I'm gonna drag that picture we just made into the asset folder thing, whatever they're calling it now. Um, basically, where all the options are, and then I'm gonna change this to texture. I'm gonna change this to current session, say import, just like that. I'm gonna get rid of these, delete, and I'm gonna make a new layer that's a fill layer, and I'm gonna turn off everything but the height, in this case. And then I'm gonna throw a new layer on top of it. It's a black mask. No, I'm gonna use a bitmap because I wanna use the texture I just made, so I'll say a bitmap. And if I look, I would say runes or sword, and I grab sword, runes. And now it's in there. So what did I do? Well, I've made it so this layer, which is using only height, if I move this up, it now puts that height in there. And it's interesting because it looks like it didn't save the right ones. So hold on, let me grab the right ones here apparently. Oh, I probably grabbed the wrong ones, that's one. So I'm gonna grab this one and throw it in there. And what I'll do is I'll delete this. Actually, I can go to fill, by the way. If you don't get it from by default, it's just a fill layer added onto a black. So I can take this and just drag it straight into there. And now they're there. And if I want, I can come back to here and say, I don't want that, so I can pull it down. And now I don't have to remake this. And it's a little bit too sharp and I could probably fill that in and soften it up and stuff. But for now, what I'll do is I'll duplicate this layer and I'll call this ruins. And I'll call this ruins glow, like that. And I'm going to take both those, select them both by control and selecting them both, and then make a folder. And in that folder, we'll call it, oops, actually, I'm not do it that way. Get rid of that. Grab both these, control G to make the folder. It'll put it in the folder for myself that way. We'll call this ruins. OK. So now I've got one for runes and one for this, but they're both set to height. So I'm gonna take the runes glow, turn that off. And then if you didn't remember, all I have to do is go into here and I'll say no missive and I'll add a missive back in by saying add a missive in this plus symbol. This is the same place you bake your sword. And then I will come to here and say missive, pick a color. And now my runes are a missive. Okay, so there you go. That's what uh, we're doing and that's how it works. That's how you do the old school way.